How's it going everyone? Steven Guida here from the Checkpoint and welcome back to another adventure right here in the Tiny Town Dimension where today we are going to be building something pretty cool, something pretty big scale. I know in the past few episodes we've been working on kind of smaller stuff like uh, good old Jobbot over here who's in a bit of a pickle and uh, Baldi's uh, little ritual cult over here. And they're sacrificing this poor lady, poor lady to the Baldi gods. So we're actually going to be working uh, more on a bigger scale again today. And it's going to be an extension of this city. So my idea is to extend the city this way a little bit. And then in the center of it all, with the towering buildings surrounding her, build a giant granny and her pet spider. Now disclaimer, I have never, ever played granny. I just know that she's evil. And she has a pet spider, so we are going to be making exactly that. Have her like tearing apart buildings, having the cops trying to stop her, maybe some military involvement. It's going to be wild. If you guys are excited, make sure you leave a thumbs up right this second. And make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. But Guida, how are you doing today, buddy? Oh good, oh good, I'm glad you're well, I'm glad you're well. Guys, if you weren't aware, this is my robotic companion Guida. He joins me on all of my adventures and throughout this video he's going to be giving you uh, some funny jerks, I guess, and some helpful... I, I, I don't even know what he does, okay? He kind of just sits around while I do the, all the hard work, so uh, just leave him be. I mean, I don't even know why he's stuck around all this time because he's not getting paid for anything, so he's kind of, I don't know, just useless right now, but hey, it's nice to have company. Where did my piece go there? Excuse you. I would like that back. Please and thank you. I'm going to rotate it around here. And we're going to have the, the road going up. Oh my gosh, will you please snap? There we go. We're going to have the road carry on up here a bit. And maybe do like a big square here. That'd be nice to make. And then in the center of it, have Granny who is causing quite the ruckus. So uh, let's grab this. Copy and paste it along here. And then we're just going to copy and paste this road for quite a small distance over here. Uh, get another corner. Let's see here. There we go. Bada boom, kind of. There we go. Take this again. Rotate this around. And the same thing again, just here. Just like this. There we go. One more. Uh, just another one right here. Copy and paste this again. Spin this around. And bring this all the way this way. And that's going to connect to right here. Where now we need a very specific piece. We need that piece right there. And that's going to sit family just there and there we go we've got a nice little square which is going to be a continuation of the city which we built in a previous adventure now unfortunately for the city portion it's already encountering a bit of an issue as you can see there's a massive zombie horde currently patrolling the streets and uh it's not going well there but over here it's going to get even worse that's right we're going to have a giant granny who's kind of going to be tearing apart the streets and making it a real a real bit of a, a of a pickle for the townspeople of this of this fair Fair City, which, by the way, we have named Adventure Town. All right, without further ado, let's grab some concrete here and get back on our our classic... Wait, we don't want those squares to look like that. On our, on our classic build here of this city. So let's see, what do I want here? What do I want going on here? Um, Let's see. Where's the concrete? Where's the concrete at? Uh, we've just got black like red, but we're looking for the gray. Here we go, right? Large cement. Okay, large cement. That'll do. I think that's actually the right one anyway. So the reason I'm using the large cement here, guys, is to give it more of an urban feel rather than using grass. Uh, let's do something like this. If you guys have missed every single episode of Tiny Town so far, by the way, make sure you go back, check out the playlist, watch all the videos to get up to date because this has been a long series. And speaking of series, I think it's time to talk about today's quest, which will involve the series on this channel. So I hope you guys are excited for today's quest. Uh, if you guys were unaware, there are a way for you guys to win free shoutouts with every installment of Checkpoint. Yes, look at all this room we've got to play around with. So the way it works, guys, is all you have to do is leave a comment in response to whatever the quest is in the comment section down below. And if it's funny, exciting, stuff like that, you could become one of Guido's three adventurers of the day in the very next installment of Checkpoint. So, all I have to do now is tell you what the quest is, and then you get commenting, and in the next installment of Checkpoint, the next video, the very next one, not the next Tiny Town, the very next video of Checkpoint, you guys could see your name commemorated in lights as one of Guido's three adventurers of the day. Okay, we've waffled on long enough. Let's talk about today's quest. As I said, guys, it's going to have to do with uh, with the series on this channel. What I want to know, guys, is obviously Tiny Town is quite a long series on this channel. We've got quite a few episodes in there at the minute. What I want to know, guys, is what has been your favorite series at the current moment on Checkpoint? So, uh, 
by the time this uh, this adventure goes up, let me see here what's going on, what, what we've been up to. I guess, I think Job Simulator may still be around. Obviously, Tiny Town's here. I'm pretty sure Gorn is still here as well, so uh, let me know. Obviously, as a full-time adventurer and part-time YouTuber, content and stuff gets swapped around, series come and go, so uh, it'd be nice to see what you guys are actually enjoying at the current time, and uh, we'll be able to see what kind of direction we take the channel in the very near future. Okay. Uh, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is just getting some uh, buildings put in place. I'm just trying to flesh out this city a little bit, this city area, just to make it a bit more lively. Uh, yeah, just throw all the cities in there. It doesn't have to make sense. This thing, yeah, that looks cool. We'll put that right there. Um, okay. Okay, so the city part is going well. Now we just need to do the same for the other side. Yeah, I really enjoy doing all the uh, the little buildings first and then working on, you know, stuff like uh, characters and stuff like that. I think it's, uh, it makes it a lot easier, the creative process a lot easier to do this. So let's go back over here. What is this thing? Okay, that looks cool. We'll pop that right there. Basically, if it looks cool, we'll put it in. That kind of looks neat. We'll pop that right there. Why not? Uh, just basically any buildings that look like they belong in a city. We'll get another one of these. Pop that right there. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. That looks kind of neat. Drop that right there. We kind of want the doors to be facing the, uh, the pavements there, because that makes sense. Uh, do we want like a giant tower or something? We have these towers here. Uh, wow, that's actually not that big. It's actually quite a bit smaller than everything else. Can we do like, can we put amongst there? Oh gosh, it looks like it's falling down. Or maybe, maybe we can actually have Granny knocking this down. So let's turn snapping off for a second here and have it like crumbling down. Yes. So this is going to come crashing down here. And this is what, uh, what a granny is actually going to be affecting. We could make it a little bit smaller, just to make sure we can fit everything in here. But she's going to be like pulling this down, or rather, uh, the spider is going to be pulling this down. Alright, just got one last building to go here, so let's make it a pretty big one. Let's go for this type of thing, and we'll pop that right there. And uh, we've got a bit of space here, maybe we could put like a long building along there. Let's see, what can we- oh gosh, maybe we want snapping off for this. Just for this one moment. Oh, that kind of goes through. Um, Hmm, maybe we, we have to go to like smaller buildings here or maybe one of these kind of thinner buildings. Yeah, that'll do I think Just have it like that. Is that kind of clipping in? Oh, no, but they're very close together. Okay, that's fine That's fine. Anyway, there's our city complete our extension. It kind of looks yeah, that looks really cool It's like we've got the rurals rural areas over here You know the Helen Herbert build the Baldi's basics build the baby hands build and the Fortnite build as well as this little movie studio for Bendy uh, but right here we have all the urban areas, so the job simulator offices, the zombie apocalypse down there. Uh, it all looks really cool. I actually want another crane, just because cranes are neat, right? Uh, oh, we could also get like a massive radio tower. Let's see here. There's the crane. That's what I want. We have the crane kind of creeping over just like that. Okay. Okay, so we've got our city complete here, or our city portion. Can I please spin it around? There we go. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting Granny in place and making sure that she's going to be causing some death and destruction within the town here. You guys may be wondering, Steve, how on earth are you going to make Granny in such a small environment here? Well, wabam! Look at this, we've already got a Granny right here. All we have to do is make her huge- oh my gosh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And have her causing chaos, just like this maybe. And uh, I'm gonna have her sat down. Um, the reason being, because I want her to be sat on a giant spider, okay? She's gonna be causing destruction on top of the pet spider, sir. Uh, the way I'm gonna work on the spider is by working with primitives here and just making a giant spider out of these primitives. So, let's go for something like this. We wanna work on the body here. Let's see. Let's just get the body all sorted first. Uh, so we wanna give him like a big, a big old butt, just like this. Come on. There we go. There we go. Make the... There we go. We want it to be quite big, because spiders are known to have like quite big, quite big cabooses, alright? Uh, I'm gonna do... Let's see here. How am I gonna do the legs? So I think using like cylinders here would be our best option for this uh, for this build right now. So let's go for something like that. And we'll have, uh, let's see, we'll put another couple of these up here. Maybe one big one right at the end, just to show the uh, the elbow joint here. Or the, is it an elbow or is it a knee? Who even knows at this point? I guess the legs, so I guess it's a knee. And now we'll get, hold on, there we go, we'll get a big, Spherical primitive right there from that we want the rest of the legs So this actually might take quite some time guys, especially to do eight legs just like this It's also super tough to do on such a small scale as well and get everything lined up and kind of neat looking so uh, Hopefully we can get this done here 
just like this. I also want to give it a real gnarly face with like some big like red or green eyes and stuff. I think that'll look awesome. So let's give it some more legs here, kind of just reaching up. Um, we could have one like stuck in this building or something. That'd be pretty cool. Let's just get all the cylinders in place first. Uh, Guido, what do you think of our creation so far? Oh, yep, yeah, dude, sorry, I forgot. I forgot that you hate spiders, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Look, listen, in the future, I won't even let you know. I won't even let you know that there's a spider in the vicinity, okay? I guess that means it's pretty, uh, pretty lifelike so far, guys, so that's good. Okay, so that, that leg's kind of sticking. Should we do it, like, going through the building here? Let's just grab some more cylinders here. Yes, it's kind of coming out the other side. There we go. That's what we like to see, just like that. Oh, my gosh, it's piercing straight through there. That's crazy. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking, let's see, we have, uh, three spider legs on these sides here, and then two at the front, maybe? Two over here or something? Or should we just do four at each side? I guess we'll do four at each side. We'll just see what works and what doesn't. Uh, the legs don't have to be perfect. We want to give it the kind of segmented feel. But, uh, this, as I said, might take some time to get this working perfectly or looking perfect. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll skip a lot of this ahead, guys. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we've got one half of the legs done, guys, with a little bit of a... Let me fix that. There we go. With a little bit of a fix needed there. But uh, on this side, it's going to be quite difficult because, um, uh, as you can see, we don't have a, a lot of space on this side compared to the other. So we're maybe going to have to take some liberties here and have, like, the legs kind of bending around just like this. We'll put the elbow joint right there. Sorry, the knee joint. Don't want to get all mixed up. It's just like this. And maybe it could be, like, crushing, like, a car or something. That'd be cool. Uh, so that's gonna come down like this way. Maybe it just ends like here just in midair. He's kind of taking a step or something. That looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll pop this here for a later leg, which I don't even know where that's gonna go. Uh, we'll take this, copy and paste it along, put it right there. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's all coming together. Look at this. I can't wait to work on the face. That's gonna be awesome. All right, so this, I guess we can have it going through the building again. Another one going straight through the building. Just like this. Copy and paste it along. That one can be kind of coming out through this way. There we go. Okay, all right. This is looking pretty cool. Um, okay, so it's elbow joints already in the uh, the building there. So no need to mess around with that. This one, we could have this going through the building again. I guess we don't really have much space for these. So that's the only place it really can go at this time. That'll just be breaching through there. Uh, that's already three legs. Um, oh my gosh, look at look how crazy this one is. It's really going in an odd, odd angle there. Not odd, an odd angle. There we go. Got there in the end. All right. Let's do this one. This one can be just resting at the back here. Just chilling, as spider legs do. So we'll keep this one going. Just like this. Just like this. Is there another cylinder back there? Don't think so. Okay. As I said, I really like the kind of segmented look that the cylinders give. It kind of looks like the spider has armor plating, which I'm sure Granny would have equipped the spider with to make sure he was uh, all ready to go for this, uh, this siege on the city here. All right, let's put another joint just there. And there we go. That's the spider's body done. It's looking really cool. And now I want to give it like some details here. So let's give it some, uh, should we go for red or green? I think green eyes. So we'll give it some like, oh yeah. Oh, this is going to look cool. So some of these, but also some tinier ones as well. Because spiders have loads of eyes, okay? So we'll do it like, yes. Oh my gosh. Actually looks quite sinister. And now I think some even smaller ones. Can I make this even smaller? There we go. Just to the side here. Yes, just like this. There we go. That's looking very sinister. It almost looks poisonous. I also want to give it some big white fangs as well. So we can go over here to all the all the kerns here and do some... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's looking awesome. That's looking awesome. Did I copy and paste another? I don't think I did. Oops. Okay. Don't want to do that. Let's undo that. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got the spider looking great. Uh, we can give it some um, some more spikes on top here, just to give it more of a textured look up here. So just like this. Copy and paste a bunch of those. Um, there we go. There we go. One more. There we go. That looks nice. Um, oh, we want to make them even. So just like that, I guess. Uh, these two perking out there. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. Look at that. Uh, should we give Granny some red eyes as well? Just to make sure people know that she is evil. She's not just, you know, your typical nice old grandma who will give you sweets on uh, every Saturday morning. No, she wants she wants blood. Oh, my gosh. Terrifying. Look how terrifying she looks. Oh, we wanted one of the spider legs to be bringing this down, didn't we? Oh, no. How are we going to do this? Maybe it's just fallen down anywhere. 
Or just, I don't, I don't know. Let's have it like falling down that way. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Of course, um, the people of this town are going to be an absolute ruin here. So we are going to get some vehicles, uh, zombie vehicles, I guess, you know, crashed stuff. So let's have crushed cars and stuff like under the feet of, uh, of the spider here. Cars that have tried to get away and have just driven straight into the, the lamp post. Fire engines have come out, but unfortunately they have, uh, become broken down and stuff. Uh, what else can we work with here? Um, yeah, just broken cars and stuff like that. Things just destroyed, utterly destroyed here as, uh, Granny and her giant spider friend come marching through the town. This looks awesome so far. Um, now though, we want some, uh, some police cars. So let's go to town. Who have set up like a little cordon here to hopefully, and I say hopefully because it's, uh, let's do things like flying into the air as well that Granny's just flung. Or is in the process of flinging. Um, let's do like, uh, not a mail truck. I thought that was an ambulance. <laughs> a mighty mail truck is the only thing standing between Granny and, uh, certain doom for the city. There we go. Do another ambulance flying up there. Just random cars just flying about as Granny rolls through here. Okay, we need to set up some police cars here for the, uh, well, for the police. So they're gonna set up a little barrier here to deal with Granny, the Granny Menace. So just like this, and uh, they're gonna be helping civilians get through while also firing and thinking how to deal with this, this giant problem, because it is a huge problem. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's go to civilians. Or citizens. What, what's it called? People. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Some cops. We'll go for these guys. They're going to be shooting up at the uh, the granny menace here or pointing. Let's just have them kind of in that kind of position there. Pointing up at it. I don't know if he's going to have a gun in his hand, but he's going to be looking at the right way anyway. There he goes. Just there. We'll do a couple more. Some twins for this guy. Just like that. We'll have one down here crouched. And kind of checking out what's going on here. Just like... Like this. There we go. So he's going to be hidden behind his car. Uh, now we need uh, maybe some SWAT teams, like, ready to go in there or something. Or should we have, like, one of the police officers, unfortunately, getting too close and being snatched up by Granny? Oh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's pick a hand for the spider. And we'll have him, like... Yelling like, ah, help me. Or maybe he's on the floor, like, trying to crawl away. Help. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's do his face, kind of looking up at us. Please help. Oh, gosh, he's in a real pickle there. He's not doing well. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, my gosh. So much destruction here from the granny spider thing that we've created. Um, What else do we need? We need civilians here just running away. Just trying to get out of harm's way. Uh, let's go for this guy. Just running. Just like this. There we go. Mid mid sprint. Trying to get away from the granny menace here. Uh, let's go for... Uh, what can we get here? Can we just get like a normal looking person? Does that exist in Tiny Town at all? Uh, this person can kind of be like stumbling. Look, he looks all cool and stuff. But in reality, he's petrified. He is stumbling. He is falling. He is running away. Oh my gosh, everyone is in a real pickle here. Let's get a nerd who's uh, going to be running like this. Looking behind him as he does, sir. Uh, just like this. There we go. Oh, he looks spooked. He looks spooked. Let's have him right there. Now I want to have some people that are actually injured here. So they need to be rescued by the paramedics. So we'll have someone sat against the uh, this uh, this car here. Gravely injured. People freaking out. People just lying on the ground. Yeah, we'll have a waitress at a nearby bar. We can have her, like, crawling away from the uh, the situation at hand here. So let's grab this leg. Have it like this. So she's going to have fallen over. She's not doing too well. Oh, no. Oh, no. And here comes the spider. Look at this thing. All right, I actually want to add some little markings to the spider as well just to finish off here. So let's go for back to primitives. We'll go back over to primitives. So I'm thinking... Uh, much like the Black Widow spider, having like a green version right here. So if you guys were unaware, the Black Widow spider has like a uh, a, a very distinct like almost hourglass shape on its on its butt. So I'm going to do something similar right here with the Granny spider. And there we go. I think we have done it. We, we've done quite a bit today. Working back on the big scale is always fun. And we have built 
a giant granny death and destruction scene. Um, wow, fun stuff. Uh, would not want to be in their position right now, but that looks pretty cool, especially from the air as well. Well, this is really coming together. Look how much stuff we've done so far. This is going to be awesome when it's all fully done. Also left a little section here just next to the city just to build the giant uh, Guida slash Steve monument right here with the words Adventure Town in the background once we have time. But right now, I'm just enjoying making all these crazy scenarios from different games. And I hope you guys have fun watching it as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this installment of Checkpoint and you want to see more from Tiny Town, make sure you leave a massive like and a subscribe and leave a comment responding to today's quest in the comment section down below. But for now, I think we did a pretty good job. I think that went very well. That spider looks awesome. The city looks awesome. Everything's coming together. I uh, got a bit of space here, which we might work on in the next installment of Checkpoint if we can think of something cool to put here. But uh, for right now, I think that's gonna that's gonna be us done. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Steve, that's been Guido, this has been Tiny Town VR. Checkpoint complete. Bye guys.